Hello guys, this is Bhagesh Code Beast and welcome to my channel. So today we'll be learning how to install Circos on Windows. There are way too many tutorials out there to install on Linux and it's way too convenient. But just in case if you want to go with Windows installation, this is the video for you. The Circos is actually a Perl based tool to construct circular plots such as the ones which you can see here. These plots can be constructed using genomic data and various other types of data. So let's not go there and let's just dive into how to install Circos on Windows. So first of all, all you have to do is fire up your browser and type in Circos in here. Select the first result which comes in. From here, navigate to software and from this tab, select installation. So the first thing we need to download is the Perl distribution for Windows. That is the strawberry Perl support for Windows. You can just click on this link and click on back to home page. And from here, select the first link here and download this. This will be a Windows installer package. All you have to do is double tap on this once it's downloaded and it will get installed. Once you have installed Perl, we'll go back to the Circos website and from here, go to the download sections in the same software tab. Scroll down until you see the version files of this Circos and you'll have to download the circoscurrent.tgz which constitutes the current version of Circos and Circos Tutorials current.tgz which has the tutorials for Circos of this current version. So once you have both of these, go to the folder which has these files and we'll deal with Circos current TGZ as of now. All you have to do is right click on this and use any unzipping tool to unzip this. We'll have to unzip this twice since it's TGZ. The first will be a tar file and once you unzip or untar this file, you'll have a folder like Circo 0.69.9 or whatever version which you have downloaded. Now all you have to do is go into this folder and copy this path and open your terminal. Let me just enlarge this and in your terminal type in cd and enter the path. After this hit enter. Let's check the content of this file dir. So just in case if you want to go through the procedure all over again and if you feel there is some error and you cannot find solution to it, I'm pretty sure all of that will be listed in a readme file. So all you have to do is open up a readme file in your notepad and have a look at the instructions and the installations and, and that will be it. To proceed further, let's enter the bin folder by typing in cd bin and hit enter. After this, let's just clear the console and let's just find out the things which are there in this directory. So the first thing we'll have to run is the test modules file. This is a bash file. So we'll have to type in bash space test and tab to complete or auto complete or you can just type it manually and hit enter. After that, you'll get a prompt instructing you to run circos hyphen command. But this is for Ubuntu and for Windows, you'll have to type in Perl before this command and type in circos hyphen modules and hit enter. I have installed all of these modules. That's the reason it's saying OK corresponding to the modules, each module. And just in case if you have a uh, something called a missing listed here, uh, we will have to install those modules. So to make it easier for you, all you have to do uh, to install those modules is first fire up a notepad and let me just add it to the split screen here and type in install space and all the modules which have missing in front of them all you have to do is just in case consider that data dumper is the module which is missing i'll just copy this and paste it over here and do the same for all the modules which have the tag missing adjacent to them and paste them after adding a space so you can just go on uh, pasting them one after the other in the text file or uh, the notepad. And after this, to install them, you'll have to run Perl hyphen M C pan. After this, we'll have to type in E and shell and hit enter. So we'll be given a prompt with C pan tag. That means our M C pan uh, console is activated. To install, all you have to do is copy all the modules from here along with the prefix install and paste it here and just hit enter. It will install all the modules which are uh, required or are not installed. And once that is done, you will see this CPAN prompt again, which, which is signifying that our process is over. 
and once that is done done let's just exit this by typing in exit and let me just clear the console now let's run that same command again that was perl circos hyphen modules and hit enter this time around you should have all the uh, prefixes as okay and just in case if you have something missing try reinstalling it all over again so once that is done we will need to run one more command so the next command we will be running is gddiag so this again is a perl file so type in perl and gdd and tab to autocomplete after this hit enter if you get a prompt saying that it has generated a image named ggdiag.png that means the command was successfully run and this is the output Let's have a look at the output. So it's in the bin gddiag and if you see it has all the color codes along with some font styles which we will be using to construct the circos plots. So once you have this file that indicates that the setup is done and we are done installing circos. So that was it for this video. Hope you had fun. This is Bhagesh Kodbi signing out. Thanks for watching.